the European Council stitch up has rendered this place impotent until today when you've got some real power if you choose to use it. What you've seen from Ursula von der Leyen today is an attempt for the European Union to take control of every single aspect of our lives. She wants to build a centralised, undemocratic, updated form of communism that will render nation state parliaments where the state controls everything, where nation state parliaments where nation state parliaments will cease to have any relevance at all. I have to say from our perspective, in some ways, I'm really rather pleased because you've just made Brexit a lot more popular in the United Kingdom. Thank God we're leaving. But it is in the aspect of defence that I think people's minds should be focused. She's a fanatic for building a European army, but she's not alone. When it's completed, NATO will cease to exist or have any relevance in Europe at all. And of course, not to be left out of this, French President Emmanuel Macron, on Bastille Day last Sunday, stood at the front of an open-top car with his nascent European Defence Force behind him, looking for all the world like an updated version of Napoleon. <laughs> be in no doubt, be in no doubt, five years of these people, the European Defence Union will be complete. And what is there for defence can also be used for attack. And you as a House will have no control over it. Vote against this nominee. Strike a blow for democracy. Strike a blow for your citizens. Grazie, Do it today. Sagen, wenn ich dem letzten Redner gerade zugehört habe, will ich noch einmal bekräftigen, wie sehr uns an unseren britischen Freunden liegt, wie intensiv wir in der Zukunft auch mit Ihnen zusammenarbeiten wollen. Aber Mr. Farage, reden wie die Ihre. Auf die können wir, weiß Gott, verzichten.